Hey everybody, the Bong is back. Welcome to part 21 of Let's Play The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, apparently this game got patched again, like it got a recent update as of November 13th. So I think like two Afterbirth updates needed to be done through Steam, and the second one actually just got done a couple minutes ago. So I don't know what version of the game we're on. In fact, I don't really think it tells you over here for some strange reason. But at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. So we'll just do a vanilla run, and we'll play as Blue Baby. We haven't really played as him for a while outside of challenge runs, so... Here is our seed. K6N1 HN83. Alright, let's do this. Just remember when you're Blue Baby, you start with a poop, and you cannot get red hearts at all. The poop is... Well, it's bad. Let, let's just face it. It's bad, but it's not the worst item in the game. That would probably go to something like, I don't know, holy water or something. Like, even items like Guillotine and Isaac's Heart have some of their uses. Soy Milk might have some of its uses based on who you have it synergized with. Otherwise, it's just hot garbage. Alright, so Envy, of course, is also hot garbage, and I only got one of them blown up by the TNT. So what I should do is try to go after the small pieces of Envy, like, as per MO, but also to utilize the explosive barrels when Envy is right next to them. That way I can get, like, a lot of damage this way. But unfortunately, if you do damage to, like, a bigger piece, the small pieces do not get damaged at all by the blast. Unless they were already next to the explosion, so... You gotta hedge your bets there. But either way, this fight's gonna be done rather quickly. Alright, so our, our overarching goal as Blue Baby is either Mega Satan or Hush. So we can't be too slow if we want to get to that 30 minute mark. Oh god, Mola Booms. Imagine having to look for those when you were, like, trying to unlock the Lost. Those were fun times. Remember when I tried to unlock the Lost? And I had to, like, look for many different seeds to see, like, oh, where a Mullaboom would be so I can die to one as Isaac. And seeds that I look up online did not have those enemies. So I had to keep Googling and Googling, and sure enough, I managed to find one after, like, four or five tries. Of course, I knew the other criteria for unlocking the Lost, and it was just a matter of getting those done. But that part was just the absolute worst. Let me tell you that much right now. What is also the worst is finding the uh, boss before I can find the item room, because I would like to get the poop replaced as fast as possible. I still haven't forgotten we got like three more challenges left to do. Two of which we haven't even attempted yet. Yeah, that was nice for you to get right there. Kinda wish you blew up right next to that tinted rock, by the way, but we can't always get what we want. That's just how the world works. I noticed I have zero bombs, so that's very disappointing. Watch now, I get a bomb item in here. Okay! This is even better. I like this. We are probably going to be ahead of the curve for quite a while. I mean, our tears rate is obviously going to be shit, but at the end of the day, well, I have, I'm holding enough shit as is, no pun intended. Okay, if you just keep doing that, that's okay, because then we don't have to, like, walk around each other. Well, you don't even walk at all. You don't even have legs. Can you imagine how weird it would be if Monstro actually did have legs? Because he's just like a big amorphous head. Okay, speed is alright, I guess. The speed challenge run is obviously not alright, but we don't ever have to touch that ever again, now do we? That's the good thing about the challenge runs, is unless you absolutely want to, you don't have to do them ever again. And watch now, we got a bomb on the first room as soon as we got to the next floor. Because, you know, it's not like I never needed those bombs anyway. My tears is already shit and infested. Bees? <laughs> oh, wow. This is... This is going to shape up to be a very slow build. Now that I think about it. Oh, dingle. Well, it's going to be fast from a movement standpoint. But by God, that Tears Down pill is going to make a world of difference. Because we were already shooting slow enough as is. Wow. One trick pony much, Dingle? That's all he did most of the time. He didn't even use the other attacks. And he had three of them. 
Okay, so we definitely need to get our tier stat back up pronto. Otherwise, we're gonna be behind the curve. Like, we can kill enemies pretty fast if you hit them. The amount of time you have to wait till you hit another enemy is pretty incremental. Like, compared to where we started. And that's just not acceptable at this point. Alright, well, big rooms, or like L-shaped rooms, or long rooms will definitely help if they have multiple oh, entrances. That was bad damage on my part. But you have a greater chance of getting a deal with the devil as Blue Baby, because, well, you don't have Red Heart damage to take. Dude, thank you for dying on me. Yeah, there's a battery charge in case I want to get the poop charge up again. That's much appreciated. Uh, if I place a bomb right here, would I be able to swing both keys? Yes, I will! Awesome! I'm definitely proud of that placement right there. Dips, come on! You, you dicks! Instead of dips, they're just dicks! Constantly moving away from my shots like they don't want to die! You're a bunch of turds! Like, what have you got to live for? What the hell? This is infuriating! This damage ain't... No. Oh, hang on a second. Okay, I'm back. I do apologize for that abrupt interruption, but apparently I just had to pause my run. So let's continue where we left off. And apparently, from when I actually did that last episode, or the last part of this episode, the game updated again. And right now, it's November 14th. Then I'm actually recording this part of the episode. So I have no idea what else happened now. <laughs> Because apparently the game is once again updated. Will this be for better or for worse? I have no idea. I didn't even go to the item room yet. And good thing I just found it right away. That's right. I had that tears down earlier. That much I do know. Nod leaf. And... Yeah, you know Fuck it. Let's take it. If we get to hush, nod leaf could actually be very good to us. Let's put it that way. Because it will give us an easy out if we want to stay in there without getting to the corner. And then we can just get in there and do some damage once the Continuum shots have gone away. Kind of wish I still had an extra bomb, though. Because I would like to get to that, uh, well, Tinted Rock over there. But it looks like that may not even happen. Or maybe it will. Huh, I guess I just ate my own words there. Hopefully I don't slow down a bit too much. And that extra soul heart which is basically extra HP and little horn is not gonna be a problem now that I think about it it's gonna be we're gonna do a nice bit of damage that a uh, homing shot will get destroyed in one hit especially if it goes into the fire like the absolute numbskull that it is it practically doesn't have a brain it's just a dark energy that doesn't know better Little Horn obviously does not know better either, and thank you, Squeezy, for that tears up to make up for what I lost, and it's two extra soul hearts. Uh, yeah, you know, we should take Book of Belial, and I kind of wish I did not take damage there. Kind of don't want to go after that nickel, now that I think about it. I mean, the poop at its run, but I think it's down to the next floor. So, let's just hedge our bets. I don't know why I say that so many times. I guess I just do. Oh, three bread chests. Aside from those two super troll bombs, I think it was a good haul. Actually, now that I think about it, I changed my mind. It was not a good haul because all we got was like, you know, two super troll bombs and those blue flies are now gone. So I take back what I said. I'm thinking, oh, it seemed all right. No, it would have been all right if, you know, we got a, another tears up or something or a lock up. Then it would have been pretty good. Other than that, you know what? It just wasn't that awesome to us. Infested? Sure, we'll just take those spiders. They had some limited use, but it was used nonetheless. All right, first thing we need to do, we need to find our item room to make the uh to make our run a little bit more viable. I do see some of this dark poop, and it does work against weak enemies. I thought it was like only just to make things darker, but apparently it has that other use. Like it just knocks them out for some strange reason. I don't know why it does that, but apparently it does. Well, that's right, I got swallowed pennies, so it allows me to 
accumulate some money whenever I get hit. Just kind of wish I didn't have to get hit, though. So it looks like I don't have to go that way unless the item room or the boss room is to the upper left. And I have a feeling it might be the case. That does not give me positive hope in any way whatsoever. Because, you know, we would like to avoid taking as much damage as possible now that I'm back to three red hearts thanks to that deal with the devil pick up. And walking on the spikes when I tried to avoid doing so. To no avail, of course. Okay, our item room is right there. Good. Help. I kind of predicted that that's how it was going to go down. This run might end before he even has a chance to begin, and that's what disappoints me a great deal. Unless we get something really awesome here. Scatter bombs might be that something awesome. It could also be that something very, very frightening. Okay, how are we going to make this work? I don't know how we can make this possible. We could not make that possible without taking a hit. Look, it seems clinically impossible to avoid taking this much damage. Especially if you don't have the ability to fly. I don't know who designed that room, but that's been around since Vanilla Rebirth. So obviously they thought that, you know, it should be possible for you to avoid damage. The shots don't go high enough for you to for them to go over you. So you're at the mercy of taking damage no matter what unless you have the ability to fly. Also, I don't like this room. Again, if you don't have the ability to fly, it's just treacherous. Because these enemies, they, they take so many hits before they can die. And right now, we are pretty much up against it until we can get some soul hearts and we need a lot of them to make up for our losses. Would scatter bombs be good here? Well, we'll place one right here. Okay, for some reason the little bombs did not reach them. That is very saddening. But I bet you they would reach me, no problem whatsoever. Okay, our damage is starting to scale down pretty big in proportion to where we're to. But the pentagram, hey, helps us a little bit. So we're going to keep going down to the next floor and hope to God we can get something that will help us against Hush. An arcade will not help us. Even though it's there, it might provide some limited use. Ooh, that fire, I mean, that penny was nice. Okay, I better go. I better, whoa, yeah. <laughs> better get away from everyone here. Because these spikes could really ruin our day. So I don't want to get too aggressive. Knowing that bad things can happen if I do so. I almost dodged right into that shot there like an idiot. But we managed to survive. There we go. Because so I think walking on the spikes would pretty much leave us at half a red heart. I mean, half a soul heart left. That is not a place we want to be at all. At all. At all. That would be so terrible. Vaginal Diglets also gotta go. Oh man, it's they're coming from everywhere. But at least they die in one hit. At least the white ones at least. The gray ones are still a little bit tanky. But we practically mitigated that threat completely. In our item room, we find... Oh, uh, we don't even know. That's right, we got Curse of the Blind. So this could be guillotine for all I know. Ah, oh, it's telepathy for dummies, which is much worse than Book of Belial. Yeah. We're just gonna move. Wait a minute, could our secret room be around here? This could be a possible spot. And we found it. Good. Would the small bombs also hurt you? I don't even know. Ah, oh, it was a bad trip. Amnesia? Oh, God. Speed up? Okay, well... We can make ourselves move faster, but we're practically going to die even faster because of this. Well, shit. Not only do we not know what our items are, we don't even know where we are on the map. That's like the double whammy of Foxville. 
As if we weren't screwed then, we are now. Oh, great! You're gonna give me greed! Well, I guess to be fair, I kinda don't wanna know what we get in our shop because it could be something terrible. So we should definitely blow these up. Because we'll get extra... Oh, we didn't get any money there. Okay, so I guess it's not a guarantee you would get something from these shopkeepers anymore. Was that because of the patch or something? I don't know. Ugh, kinda wish I could get that. Ugh, we're screwed, guys. You don't need me to tell you that. So I should start using Book of Belial more often, just to delay the inevitable. I will delay for as long as I can, and I'll probably play better as a result. Should really start utilizing uh, not Leaf more often. I don't know why I don't do that. You know what, to be honest with you, if the shot was heading my way, I probably would have died because Nod Leaf was taking a little long. I kind of had to utilize it because it looks like it was going to be very difficult to dodge those shots. Wow. All these shots and these take so much damage from them. I can't justify, justify that at all. At least these spiders are easy to avoid because they only shoot straight. Okay, we'll probably make it through. I think we're gonna win. It's Chad. That really disappoints me. It's like, if you play as Blue Baby, nine times out of ten you're gonna get Chad. As one of your bosses. And that forces you to be stuck with little Chad. And that is so disappointing. Because you can't do anything with these red arts unless you can reroll them with a d20. Well, we already know we were going to get little Chad. Should we just go fight Krampus? Uh, I would have liked to take those deals with the devil, but I have no lives. I only got the one. And not the ring to rule them all. So this run is DOA. Let's put it that way. We're, we're dead in the water. Look. I don't like this any more than you do, but we gotta, like, re-roll this shit. Yeah, so let's put this out of the way. Okay, we gotta re-roll. We gotta do it. Um, did I make this run better, or did I make it worse? Because I have no stat-ups. I got Glitter Bombs, Pyro. I move slower because of the virus. But I got Maggie's Bow, which is nice. Okay, so we could take one more hit. It's not like we were, like, in Fatal's Bill. Oh, don't make me do this room. I kind of ran right into that spike like an absolute idiot, so I deserve that damage. Okay, looks like we get Toxic Shock. So that'll do some damage pretty early. Oh my god, we're on... I think we're on base damage, guys. We're on base fucking damage, and I'm dead. Oh, that was so bad. You know what? Let's, let's just do another run. Curse of the Blind right away. So here's our new seed. 6QQWGGHX. Good game hacks. Wow. That's what that, that last run was. It was just absolute hot garbage the way we played at the end. Like, I thought it was going to go so well because, you know, we had Polyphemus and everything. But then all of a sudden, everything just went completely off the rails. Alright, fruitcake in our first item room. Could be good, could be terrible. Depending on what, you know, get up we get. Wait, did we just get a penny for some strange reason? Did we just get... We didn't get penny tears, did we? No. This is weird. Because I, that, I don't think that was a champion we killed. Okay, I don't even know what hit me there. Like, did I just inexplicably take damage? Because I don't think I hit that enemy. If I get a tear effect that just randomly damages me for no reason, that, that's going to be an absolute disgrace. Because that can end your run. Oh, God. Alright, we, we survived that absolute Blitzkrieg. And... Okay, Fruitcake better not screw me over. But it looks like we could be like balls against the wall here. 
Okay, this stuff does not hurt you. It just makes you slide around. Like, it's slippery poop. Okay, I did get a penny from that. So occasionally, you might get the penny tears. That might actually be pretty good. Because the more I keep using this, the more money I could get. It's too bad it's just a penny, though. But it's better than nothing. Ah, latch key. Okay, that will definitely serve us well. But I should check for a secret room. It may not be in either of those areas, so... Fuck that. We're just gonna go. Yeah. That last run sucked. Like, Polyphemus was awesome, but then it just, like, fell apart. Just not that long after that. Okay, yeah. Firemind with my reflection. Like, how can that not go wrong? Our range just sucks. We, we definitely need more going for us. Like, we have to keep our distance to avoid, you know, possibly getting that fire mine effect at random. Because Rando Dando is pretty bad, though. That made no sense, but... You know exactly what I meant, though. Like, we could just randomly be fucked. Depending on what shot we get. Like, maybe when I took damage for no strange reason. Was it like, anti-grav and fire mine together? Possibly, that might be the only logical explanation I have for that kind of bullshit. Okay, there is a champion that's invisible, and it actually just got killed by its own giant vaginal diglet. Vaginal biglet, that's what I'm going to call him, yeah. That'll be your new name, vaginal biglet. It's a diglet that's big. That, that was a weird noise. Okay, keep giving me money. I don't mind that. Can you imagine if that dude found a crawl space for me? That would have been so amazing. Alright, we know what our next item is. Ah, oh, it's Midas Touch. Well, if we get hit in by contact, we can freeze the enemies, turn them gold, and then we'll just take them for money. Okay, we did find our secret room by accident. That was actually pretty handy for us. Oh my god, I forgot the poop could do that. That is so amazing. Oh, this along with Minus's touch could be quite a financial gain for us. So maybe I'll stick around with the poop unless we find an item that's so much better. Oh my god, I just got two golden poops in a row. Yeah, why wouldn't I do this? Oh my god. God. Does this happen because I because I have Midas Touch that every poop I make is going to be golden? If so, holy shit. Okay, it's I think it might have only just been for that room. Yeah, it doesn't work for all the poops. But all of them that have worked have been in this room. Is it because of this room in particular that you always get golden poop? If so, if I'm going to be taking poops, I better do it in that room specifically. Okay, Mom's Bottle of Pills is probably not worth it. But we'll buy it anyway, just to see what our pill is. One makes you small. You should definitely buy this one as well. And it's tears down. Tears wow. Down. Two runs in a row on this one episode have both been tears down. Like, what the fuck is happening? Okay, so we'll probably have a poop charge ready for after we're done with this room. Whoa, okay, you got a little too close for comfort right there. Man, we're causing explosive shots and it's not even fire mined. Okay, I guess the poop train has run dry. That's unfortunate. I thought we found a little exploit with the game or something. Turns out that is entirely false. It was just false hope. I guess I just wanted to believe that we were constantly going to be shitting golden poop. But at least we'll have a pretty good financial advantage. So I'm really liking our chances there. So let's just keep this going. 
I like that you have some occasional tears that just make the enemies super small. I think if you step on them, they would die. Okay, I'm gonna poop one more time in that gold shit room. You know, because I want to believe that I'll just get another gold poop again. Like, I don't think it's gonna cap out at, like, three. Did I get the magnet effect or something? Because I drew that nickel right to me. Oh, that was bad damage right there. Don't ruin my deal with the double chances because of that one bit of damage. Please don't. That would make me sad. Okay, we still got it. Got shot speed and damage up. Ooh, that was a golden poop. Oh, yeah, that with counterfeit penny is so good. We cannot not take Brimstone. Look, we don't really have the best amount of damage at all. So if we're going to be taking some, we better take something that we know will just destroy anything in its path. I, I say we should go for it. Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. How is this going to work with Brimstone? Because I technically don't have Penny Tears. I have a Penny Laser. Can I generate money just by hitting enemies with Brimstone? Or does the synergy not work? Oh my god. I, I think Minus' Touch does increase your chance for Golden Poop. If you have the poop. If so, that's a pretty damn good synergy. Especially if you get so much of it in a row. Holy crap. No pun intended. You know what? I don't think uh, Penny Tears and Brimstone work together at all. Because I got no money from them at all. Oh my goodness gracious. This is, this is awesome. Shops are going to be extra viable. Oh, Dunce Cap? Double whiz shot. Oh my god, what have I done? Well, to be fair, I don't have to be completely close to enemies. I can just stand in a little diagonal. Like, rooms like this are actually pretty good. Because I don't have to line myself up to enemies, and I got two lasers to work with instead of one. Maybe for certain items, Dunce Cap is pretty good. And other items, Dunce Cap is an absolute nightmare. It all depends on, again, what kind of rooms we have. I should definitely go for those coins. Eh, we'll hold on to them, because I got 99 already. It really does wonders against those bonies, that's for sure. Because then I don't have to, like, worry about them hitting me. We'll come back to that. Now, it might throw you off if you got, like, obstacles in your way. Okay, I figured out what Ventricle Razor does. Apparently, it's an item that just warps you. Like, say, for example, I put a warp right here. And then I put another one right here. So when I do this, I will end up in the shop. It's basically a reference to Portal. But I think we should just stick with the poop. Because, I mean... Don't get me wrong, Ventricle Razor does have its practical uses. But, in the grand scheme of things, I'd rather an item that can increase my chances for money. And it does help block enemies, so we'll definitely stick with the poop. And besides, shooting all this golden poop will increase my chances for a lockup by way of a lucky penny. So, I'm weighing all my positive options just by taking this item. We have actually done it and found a good use for the poop. And we actually justified Minus' Touch, too. Because normally, I would not like Minus' Touch because it's an item that only works if you get hit. And it kind of sucks that it actually goes that way. But now, it's actually so good because you get these two items together. Okay, this is getting borderline abusive now. We get like restock in our shop. We're pretty much set. 
that we can just buy every single item in the game. Well, almost every single item, depending on, like, how much it would cost. Or if we get Steam Sale. Getting Stopwatch will kind of make this game a little easy. But if we're going to be dealing with Hush, we kind of need it to be super easy. That's just the way it is. At least our Brimstone is still pretty powerful. Got no problems with that. Actually, I should be just releasing this Golden Poop more often. You know, for the occasional lockup. That hasn't happened yet, but it will. Okay, Dark One obviously will not be a problem. Like, no enemies are going to be a problem because they're slowed. Okay, I definitely need my Brimstone shots to, like, charge fully a little bit faster. It's kind of my disadvantage right now. Okay, we did get straight HP, so I'm happy with that. No gold poop that time. Uh, Judas' shadow. Well, we already beat Hush as Judas, so I kind of don't want it. We're just going to move on to the next floor, guys. Feeling pretty good about our chances now. Like, a good source of money. We got powerful damage. We also have... Wow, that was a bad use of brimstone on my part. It's just not charging any faster. Like, it's not fast enough. These guys will probably just slow my run down. Did I just poop on the same area that had poop? And as a result, did not create any? I think that's what happened. Okay, what is up with my gold poop? Why is it not happening anymore? Disappointed! Come on, dudes. Just die fast, and then we can be done with all this crap. Infestation? Fine. I'm gonna save this money because, you know, we haven't found our shop yet. Once we find our shop and buy what we need, then we'll just pick up the money again. And then we can move on. I wanted to test stepping on these guys, don't get me wrong. But I guess I felt it was a bit too late. Okay, Dunce Cap is actually a pretty good choice for us. It probably would not be practical with regular tiers. Because then you have to line yourself up all the damn time, and it could be quite a chore. God, our brimstone shots are not as strong as I would like them to be. Okay, let's just see what's in our boss first. Gertie. Okay, this is where, like, slow damage by way of Brimstone may not be amazing. But having Gertie slowed will make it easier to dodge the shots. But this is Champion Gertie. It hasn't even shot once. If we get close enough, can I hit Gertie with both Brimstones? Probably, but I don't want to get too close. Oh, wow, I missed him completely. How did that happen? My god. Oh, we got the halo. This is so good. And we're gonna fight Krampus. It was bound to happen. We all gotta pay the Krampus tax at some point. Everybody's got a price. <laughs> so do we. I cannot take Krampus' head. I'm sorry. Okay, first thing we need to do is find our next shop. Oh, wow, he even got regular money from just regular poop. Oh, this is like a shit ton haul of monies. Like, we are swimming in bonk right now. It is just downright ridiculous. This is a much better run than the last one. By an absolute wide margin. We'd be doing ourselves a disservice if we didn't get to Mega Satan or Hush.
Like, we gotta get to at least one of them. What is this? The Night Light. The tarot card is Death. And the pill is... Power Pill. So I guess we'll buy the bomb and the key. Ha! <laughs> I'll just get some golden poop in the shop. Wow. Okay, Night Light actually just illuminates the area. That can be pretty cool. I heard it had another effect as well, like if you used it against enemies. So we should definitely give it a try when we get the chance. Actually, I think I understand what it does, because I watched Northern Lion get the, the Nightlight quite a bit. That it can actually freeze enemies. That's actually pretty awesome. Well, it, I don't think it freezes them, but it slows them down. But we got Stopwatch, so we're able to slow the enemies down anyway. I don't think it works well with Nightlight, but I don't think we ever picked it up, so it'll be nice to add to our collection. At least we're able to move a little bit fast, because we did get the Halo, which gives us a small speed boost. And we got Curse of the Lost, because, well, you can't get everything positive forever. You're going to run into a little bit of bullshit at some point. Wow, can't believe I completely avoided damage there. Okay, we were going the wrong way. I can't be surprised by that. I tend to do that. Quite a lot, actually. Uh, we gotta go for it. That was a pretty bad mistake. Okay. Rooms where you gotta wait for wall monsters can be very annoying. But it doesn't look like they take a long time to get to you. Like, teleportation, I think, still the same speed. It's the shots that take a little bit slower. So, in a way, it's not like you're gonna fuck yourself out of boss rush or the hush fight because you got stopwatch or anything. At least that's my theory. I could be completely wrong. If anything, I just want to make sure that I get a lock up, and I did not. Oh, come on. Black Candle in our next shop would be amazing right now. Just don't give us greed or anything. Okay, that, that room had absolutely nothing. Okay, we were able to destroy that Gini in one shot. That makes me happy. Oh, I can still walk around this. We'll come back to that, I promise you. And in our item room, I guess we'll find... Oh, Spider Baby. It's okay, I guess. This room is actually not okay. Oh, wow. I don't know how I could have done that any better. Like, if the, if the poop was... Or the hands were going to come down, or, or rather the spikes were going to come at me. They were going to come at me whether I did it right or not. Like, they were just going to be there. So we just had to accept our fate. Okay, this is also a dead end. Again, this is where Dunce Cap is useful. Just want to check for, I don't know, a teleport card in case we want to swing an item from our boss rush room. Okay, there's our secret room. Ooh, Black Lotus. Should definitely go for that. Oh yeah. Now we got like two soul hearts and a black heart. Normally Black Lotus gives you like one of each heart, but because we can't get red hearts, it's gonna be replaced with a soul heart, and that's entirely fine. I think we can swing this our way as well. Uh didn't get any keys for it, so that's pretty unfortunate. But we can accept it. Just as long as we take care of his... Ah, oh, I should have seen that enemy right there. I actually did get a legitimate jump from that. Because I thought I was safe, and... Well, there's our boss right away. It may not be a bad idea to take out war. Because what is he good for? Absolutely nothing. It's probably going to take a while to get him down, though. Because remember, he likes to teleport away. Oh, God, that was close. 
having to fight him in a thin room does not make going after him pretty easy. Okay, he was going nowhere near me that time. That, that was weird. Okay, we're gonna get Ball of Bandages. That will help us out a great deal. We still gotta swing a shop our way. That much is a given. I think it's down here? Because we haven't gone that way yet. Ooh, an Eternal Heart is a big get for us. Okay, that was not the way to the shop. That kind of sucks, so we got to look around for it. I'll just pick up pennies that I know I'm not going to be able to go to ever again. Because it's just completely out of the way from us. Good thing there was only one enemy in there. Uh, Lucky Rock? Could... I don't know. I think it could be better for us. From a, a financial standpoint. I don't want to talk about it, guys. That I'm embarrassed for me. Wait, did I go all the way through here? Yeah, I think I went... Because this is where the... Was this where the item room was? Yeah, okay. I guess I don't know where I'm going. Where was the shop to? I'm kind of confused. I did go through this way. There was nothing down there other than the curse room. This is why Curse of the Lost sucks, because you could be going just about anywhere. And it's really going to slow you down. Should we just, like, forget the item room? Oh, it was here. We'll probably fight Greed anyway, and then everything be all for naught. <laughs> oh, you're still alive. Oh no, we got deck of cards. We'll take Mom's purse for sure. We got the stars. I'd rather stick with the death card. We'll buy two of diamonds. We'll buy the soul heart. Do we know what this pill is? That's oh, power pill. We'll stick with two of... No, I think we should use two of diamonds right away. And then take the death card with us. And I think we're good. Extreme min-maxing? But I think it was well worth it. Like, if extreme couponing was based on Isaac, this is what it would turn to. Okay, no curse. We really need to find Black Handle because these curses will frustrate us. Oh god, I, I don't know what I was aiming at there. Lucky Rock be a nice choice. Because we already got a lot of money. Counterfeit Penny is going to be useless to us. Let's just see what's in our boss trap room. Uh, Red Chest again did not pay out with anything. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Another golden poop. I think we're just going to pick up all the money now. Because this is going to be our last shop anyway. And we should probably just keep moving on. Oh my god. We're not doing as much damage as I would like. Is it because Dunce Cap like, just halves the damage of Brimstone? Because the shots are split in half? Does it have the damage? Because it feels like we're taking a long while to do as much damage as we should be. Like, we got friggin... God, we got the Halo. And Brimstone is powerful. But we're not doing much damage. That was pretty much a bad idea on my part there. Like, Room's just gonna take forever to go through because of how long it takes to charge. So glad we're gonna get our last item room right now. And in here we get Friend Ball! Or Friendly Ball. I think we should actually just take Friendly Ball now. Okay, what Friendly Ball does, it's kind of like a reference to Pokemon, where if you throw it at an enemy, you can catch it. Wow. 
and then you can unleash that same enemy against the others. Which I think is a pretty cool thing if it works really well. I don't know if it works on all enemies. But I guess you can try. Fantastic, we cleared out that room. Okay, we may not have enough time to make it to Hush. So we gotta make a Mega Satan push, above all else. Charge, baby! You know what? We'll take it. And this pill is Lemon Party. Fuck. We gotta go. We gotta go now. Okay, having to deal with bonies here may not be that great. Okay, there's our boss. Good. Remember, we still got fruitcake, so our brimstone laser is gonna have random effects. Okay, was that like... Oh yeah, that was Lucky Rock that was giving me the extra money. Okay, fighting Mom might actually be harder because I can't just line myself up with the eyes. I gotta go in a diagonal. That can make things a little bit harder to manage. Especially if I don't know if my charge is fully done. Yeah, I don't think we're going to make it to that 30 minute mark unless we get a really good item. Like, a good damage up, and I don't know where we're going to find it. Okay, we got to make a big ass push. Okay, Curse of Darkness does not bother me at all. See, if you give me Curse of the Lost, then I'm going to start hating the game. I got no time to pick up anything. We got to move. Just go, 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 go. Stop for nothing. That's it. We're at the 24 minute mark, pretty much. So that's gonna make things harrowing. The only reason I picked up the friendly ball is because we never picked it up yet. And we pretty much gonna have to anyway. Uh, the virus, it'll slow me down from a speed standpoint, but if it damages enemies, if I get hit, you know what, that's fine too. This was not the way to go. Should definitely pick up these keys. Because we'll need them for the blue womb. Keep it up. We got something going on here. Putting less emphasis on exploration and more about getting to the boss. Which we got to right away. Good. Uh, it's not charging fast enough. That's it. Keep it up. We're almost done with this room. Oh, this is gonna be one big ass push to the end. Whoa, that one actually blew up. You can't see the colors of champions, that's what makes it harder. You know what, we'll use the death card right here. To be honest, I'll replace the friendly uh, ball with the pony. Can you imagine this worked on bosses? Kinda wish I just tested it at the last minute, but you know what, now nah, I don't care. Jeez, pill central. Health down, wow. One makes you small. Speed down! Oh my god, these pills suck! One makes you small was probably the only good one, and I didn't even take it! Okay, Curse of Blind kind of doesn't matter anymore. Even though we can still get something here. No, wait, that's a shell game. Never mind. I'd only get Skatol. Kind of don't care about Skatol all that much. I only care about moving. You know what? We might actually make it to Hush at this point. Infested? That was probably the only good pill we've had in a long time since Power Pill. Okay, the enemies didn't move for some strange reason. I'd just rather they not exist at all. Okay, that was a bit of a 
weird uh, crossover with the uh, brimstone lasers there. I didn't even think you saw me. Or maybe it was just a slow reaction. Okay, we're definitely going to make it to the blue womb at this rate. Unless I'm going the completely opposite direction, which I should be. Then it might get a little bit frightening. In terms of our speed. Okay, I was going the wrong way, as I expected myself to do. Oh, come on. You guys are going to be, like, the, res the reason I may not even make it to Hush. Okay. Even if we make it to Hush, I think the Continuum shots are not going to be an issue as much. All because we have the ability to slow our shots to slow the shots down. These hosts are not helping matters at all. Okay, this was the way to our boss. And the Bemo's eyes were not a problem. Okay, Pony Effect did really good for us. Okay, we're definitely gonna win, but we have to stand in a very awkward position. We're gonna be standing right next to a spawn point of the enemies if we stay on the north side. And if we go on the south side, well, of course, only one of our lasers are gonna hit. This could be a little bit slower than I anticipated. So I had to get a bomb in there. Ugh. Okay, that was a bad spot to stand. All advantages, I think, save me from damage. Okay, we're back into the swing of it now. Here we go. Now we're at the phase where we can start, like, getting in there. Get up close and personal. Do oh, okay. I did not even see the brimstone laser there. But at least we got some Polaroid invincibility. Okay, we'll just wait for that to go away. And now we can go to the blue womb. Alright. Hush is going to be slush at this point. Curse of the Unknown. Okay, now I won't even know how good or bad I'm doing. Guppy's head was actually pretty good. Hagalaz is pointless. Hagalaz. Uh, Capricorn or chocolate milk? I don't know. We'll come back to that one. But this is going to be a tough decision. Okay, well, this one's not a hard decision. We definitely want Mom's contacts. Yes, mother- Oh my god, I got the mom transformation. Okay, we'll probably take the car battery. It does nothing for us with Guppy's head. But we should take Guppy's head over the pony. Oh, Capricorn or chocolate milk. Uh, all stats or, you know, charge attack. You know what? Who dares wins? We're going with chocolate milk. And we'll take the pony because I think we can move a little bit faster. Okay. Does it do more damage? I don't think it does. So maybe we handcuffed ourselves a little bit? But I feel like we charge a little bit faster. We just do so little damage to even this phase of hush. That worries me a great deal, that we're not able to do so much damage. But at least we got a little mom's knife behind us, so that'll help a little bit. Alright, this is time to put our money where our mouth is. Yeah, this is gonna be a long-ass fight. But it's one we can probably win. We don't have to stand that close to him. Does stopwatch make things a little bit harder to dodge? Because the shots just linger longer? Okay, they eventually do fall. So I can take solace with that. Oh yeah, we're gonna have like a very slow fight. Yeah, 
it's going to be a, a pretty big barn burner. And I don't want to get up there to take any stupid risks. Can I dash through Hush? Yes, I can. Okay. So occasionally if I need to make some lateral movements, Charge Battery can help me get a Pony Charge. Yeah, even like at this size, it's hard to get both Brimstone Lasers in there. It's going to be a painful fight to watch, but we got to win it somehow. I wonder what you unlock by defeating Hush's Blue Baby. I'm very curious. Does saw a lot of achievements, but I don't know what goes to what character, and if you got to beat him as Hush or Ultra Greed. Wow, even the flies take so long to kill. Yeah, this is pretty much what you gotta use the pony for. I wonder, does Mom's Knife that traveled behind me hit the enemies as well when I'm using the pony? Because it trails behind me at all times. Oh, I didn't get a full charge there. This could be bad. The flies are gonna be a massive problem. Because he's gonna keep respawning them. Oh, man. You better make yourselves, like, a sandwich or something. And probably bake the bread yourself, because by the time you actually get the, the dough to rise, I'll still be on this fight. Holy fuck, this is... Maybe I should have taken Capricorn. Now that I think about it. Because it would have done stuff for, like, my charge rate, I'm very sure. What if I do this? No, it's not going to work. Because I was trying to like, see if I can swing Mom's Knife to touch Hush through melee damage, but could not get that to work the way I wanted it to. Because of like how it swings. It was a good effort, though, I will admit. Because look, if I try to move, I'm going to swing Mom's Knife like back to the other direction. Okay, this must be the continuum shots happening. Yeah, they're actually a different color now. Oh, God. Maybe these are different shots. Oh, my God. He retreated again. Oh, this could take like a hundred million years, but we're going to win. It's just a matter of like how long you're willing to go before you get so bored and complacent. Because once you start getting bored, you're going to be making a lot more mistakes. I don't think Charge, batter charge Baby is going to give me any more batteries. Yeah, just die. Yeah, the knife still does a lot of damage to these guys. Because of how slow the minions move, I'm not going to bother with them. I can get around this little area. Come on, it's like super hexagon, only with circles, dude. You got this. That time I get both of them in there. Oh, I gotta move. Jeez, I don't even think if you focus it on the flies the whole time, you don't do enough damage to them. These flies are tanky. We're gonna be here a while, boys, so you might as well just take it all in. I would have liked to try to take this chance to get close enough so I can actually swing the knife right into Hush. But if it's gonna move towards me, yeah, it's just gonna do right there. It wasn't a good idea. I was trying to think if bombs could actually just pop them back up, but it doesn't work that way. Would have been nice to find a strategy that can keep him from being submerged for so long. Because it's bad enough he's so strong, but he also has many times when you cannot hurt him at all. Did I get a battery there? 
So I saw a charge maybe light up. But I did not get a battery. Oh god, what have I done? This is where we get hit. It's my sheer will that I have not been hit. Oh god. And he's still underground, like, dude! Do you really need this much advantage? Watch now that when this game actually gets patched again, they're gonna have, like, a, fo a mode where, like, Hush is invincible for, like, ten minutes. And this only happens when you play as the Lost, like... And then when you actually beat them, you just, I don't know, you get the poop 2.0. Imagine that. If that wouldn't infuriate you, nothing will. And it'll only be found because Data Miner's been at it for like five months. Is he underground again? Oh my god, this fucker right here. This is like Final Fantasy XII all over again. When you're fighting these super bosses, you can only like hit them like two or three times, and then they're immune to all damage for like five minutes or something. It feels like five minutes, and every attack they have can instantly kill you. Is this stopwatch working against me? Because he's been underground so long? Do I need to aim at this particular enemy right here? These sacks? Yeah, I think I did have to destroy those sacks. Oh my god. Can you stop firing, please, for just a few seconds? Oh, this motherfucker right here! He thinks he's being funny. Like, you think you're just cute. No, you're just annoying. It's like drama bitches in high school, thinking they're being all cute. No. You are just being completely ungrateful. You only got this job because you have, like, boobs, and you can't even lift an iPod to save your life. Okay, this is where the continuum shots are happening, but you know what? I can't complain anymore, because at least I can hit them. Are those shots, like, completely standing still? God, even the bombs don't do as much. Okay, these are the shots that split up, don't they? Yeah. I'll just blast them at the door for all I care. I can only go after the minions, unfortunately. Oh god, I didn't have the charge ready again! You know what, I figured I was gonna take some damage, I might as well do it now. Just to expedite the process. That's where that complacency kicks in. So I wanted to get some ball of bandages damage in. Ball of band damages in, am I right, guys? That's right, I'm still punny at times. Even in my darkest moments. Which is this long ass fight. At some point, I had to take Dunn's Cap anyway, just to add it to my collection. But maybe this should not have been the run to do it. Oh my god, this fight is taking forever! Jesus, we were not even at the 30 minute mark when we got here, and look! Has this been going on for like six or seven minutes or something? But at least we're almost done. Oh my god, that fight took forever. And we got Fates Reward unlocked. Okay, so I guess this run is not over. Watch now, we get Dad's key in the chest. Dear God, if that actually happens, I don't know what to think. I would probably just cry. Like, I'd be happy that we can get Mega Satan out of the way as Blue Baby. But it's like, 
Enough's enough. We know our run is not high power. Chocolate milk was not a good choice for us. Should have stuck with Capricorn. But it's like, what we did not know made it much more attractive to us. Oh god, this is not even the right way to Isaac. Dear god, we gotta get out of jail free card. Or dad's key. I don't know, man. Like I said before, I'll be happy, but I'd also be scared. This is like the run just will not end. This is a marathon run, guys. And we could get the hugest payout for it. I mean, we unlocked Fate's Reward. In its own right, it's pretty good. We don't know full well what it does yet. That's because we haven't picked it up yet. But when we do, we'll remember it came from this. You'll remember where you were when we unlocked Fate's Reward. You were probably just falling asleep because you're thinking, Oh my god, Bonga, just use Mom's Knife. Take some Polaroid. Get some Polaroid invincibility. Swing Mom's Knife in there. You might actually save yourself, like, a little bit of heartache. Look, it doesn't go down like that. Like, if I'm gonna go hard, I better go hard right. You gotta do things hard, but you gotta do it right as well. Let me put that in perspective right now. Kinda wish I could bomb my way through this room, but I don't really have enough bombs to justify it. And of course I found the dead end. Like, on both ways again! If we're gonna, like, bomb out of a room, we'll do it in a big room. I think it might actually be harder to deal with Isaac, because then we have to get in the corner to fight him. And we're so used to, like, standing flush against the center of the wall. I'm not going for that. <laughs> we didn't get enough lucky pennies either, so it's going to be harder to get stuff from the chest. I don't see a tinted rock here. That greatly uh, disappoints me. This would have been a good time to get small rock. Because again, our damage is not that amazing. Super Greed will definitely drop real fast. Thank god one of them... Actually, I, I think I got both of them with that one brimstone. Remember to pick up the money, you might get a lock up. Come on, lucky pennies, lucky pennies, lucky pennies. Oh, fuck you. Oh, fuck this room, too. Remember, lucky rock, when it works, will give me more pennies. More pennies equals a chance for lucky pennies. More lucky pennies, of course, increases our chances for just doing well. There's a double key room over there. But I can't go for it. I only have two keys. That's what this run has been severely lacking. It's lacking in keys. It almost makes me want to go back to that mob trap room. But I can't see a good reason to do that. Th this was also a dead end, by the way. I guess we had to go up. Alright, fine. I guess I'll have to go, like, the only way I haven't gone. How does that constantly happen to me? Like, I just find dead ends like nobody's business. you think I would have found it so many times that I would be fucked out of fighting Hush and Boss Rush in every single run because I can't seem to find where the fuck I'm going. And if I get a map or a compass, oh, you get Curse of the Lost. Happy birthday, you asshole. <laughs> My birthday's in September, by the way. Kinda wish you actually released the game a month sooner so I can enjoy it on my birthday. But at the end of the day, I'm just glad that this game works so well. You know, some people have been wa complaining about Afterbirth, like it's having, you know, like, functionality issues, like the game would crash, but I've never had that issue. 
Only time I had that issue was when I was trying to, like, play a mod of Rebirth, and I couldn't get it to work, so I deleted it. And then when I did that, for some reason, Rebirth would not load at all. So I found out what was going on after I emailed uh, Nicholas or something, you know, the guys that are involved in Rebirth. I figured out what I did, and I deleted that extra folder that I just left there. And after that, it worked just fine. That was the only time I've had an issue with Rebirth functioning. I guess I was one of the lucky ones. Even though I don't exactly have the best computer in the world, it at least is able to do that. And that's good, because I remember the original Binding of Isaac with Wrath of the Lamb, it did have a lot of problems for me. Like, when I was recording, it would just lag. Like, at certain points, which did not make me happy at all. Despite the fact still winning a race against a uh, blood spitting lizard, seal lightning, and some other guy. I think it was. I don't know if it was Whiplash or anyone. It was definitely one of those guys. That was a lot of fun, by the way. I'd like to race some people in Afterbirth as well. Like, not just the daily run, but maybe, like, I don't know, traditional play. Like, we'll just pick a seed and then just go buck wild. That would be pretty fun as well. Like, do a little collab. Probably not every video, but like certain ones. Or maybe do co-op with much games crew. Seems how you can have like multiple people with you at once. Come on, Dad's key. Dad's key. I kind of want Dad's key now. Ipecac! That's Taurus. And Strange Attractor. Well, we might as well take Taurus, even though it'll slow us down a great deal. I definitely don't want Strange Attractor. Okay, I don't think Ipecac works, Brimstone. <coughs> okay, that was kind of bullshit. They were going in opposite directions. Wow. Kind of got screwed there. I think Ipecac is only a, being applied to Mom's knife. So you pretty much just gotta wait a while for Taurus to kick in. Then you can pretty much go, go buck wild. Like the immediate effects of Taurus, I really despise because that slowdown is immense. But if you got some speed ups. It practically becomes, like, the best item you can ever have. Fantastic, giving me more red hearts that I can't do anything with. Wait, does this dingle produce toxic poop? I just noticed that. Okay, good, we got an extra key, so we can actually go back to that chest. Oh my god, if it's the D6. Why did I go this way? I kind of lost track of where I was for a brief moment. Oh, I guess two can play that game, huh, Death? There we go, we got ourselves an extra key. So I think that was better to go this way. Come on, come on, Dad's key, Dad's key. So forget me now! <sighs> you know I'm gonna do it. Like, we already defeated Blue Baby as... Well, Blue Baby! So if we don't get Dad's key, we'll use the forget me now, and then we'll redo the entire chest. Because we can. Like, if this run wasn't absurd enough, God, double adversary. We pretty much had to do it like that. Thank you, Taurus. But you were able to get the adversary before he escaped. Look, the reason why I'm not using the pony at all was because in the grand scheme of things, I would much rather... Wait until we possibly got a D6 from one of these uh, chests 
and then I can start using the D-Sticks that way. That was not our secret room, by the way. And there was that. Okay, double cage is gonna be annoying. I don't think this one's a champion, though. Oh, yes. All of my yes! Okay, I just killed him at the same time just as soon as Taurus wore off. That's pretty cool. I don't care how you look at it. Alright, I guess our secret room is not up there. Okay, I want to kill Sloth last. Because I really like to see if I can get a tarot card from him. Or Bob's Rotten Head, you know, that's fine too. Even though I'm just not going to use it. It's not our secret room either. Did I check over here? I did check over here, it's not there. Oh, oh again, I want to kill Sloth last. So this is the exact same getup as last time. So we might be able to get another tarot card. It's High Priestess. We'll probably use it on the next room. Yeah, Polycephalus, yeah, it was well worth it. But this is also a dead end. If I can just like, get like a fourth key, oh thanks. I'll feel so much better. You know what? Fuck it. Let's take Strange Attractor. Like, we got nuts. Let's just go nuts, sir. And that includes taking one of the items that I so much hate. It'll throw everything out of whack, but we gotta go for it. I kind of want to destroy Greed. Maybe I'll get Mr. Mega. Nope, I just got Boom. It's alright, I guess. Oh god, you! This asshole right here! I kind of like keep pulling him towards me. Um, thanks, Taurus. It's a bit too late, but it's a thought that counts. Okay. We're almost close to clearing out the entire chest. And then we'll probably have to clear it out again. Oh my god, more stains! This is like a fucking Tide commercial. Oh, uh, with polycephalus. You know, if your Tide commercials had polycephalus. How many of them are there? Is that four? Good lord, what the fuck? Okay, top secret room? No. Top secret room? No. Top secret room! No. The strange attractor, like, attract the heart to my bombs? That's a very odd interaction. I'll check here for a secret room. Oh, we found it! And it was greed. Because I can't be surprised at all. Come on, luck up, luck up, luck up, luck up, luck up! <sighs> Shit. Oh god, Little Horn actually spawned four of these right away. Oh my god. This is gonna be a pain in the ass to get this video rendered, believe you me. Because, like, this part here is like an hour and 12 minutes. And let's not forget, I stopped recording after, what, maybe two, like, maybe four or five minutes? So that's going to be added to it as well. This is going to be, like, close to a 90-minute marathon run. And we're not even close to done. You're thinking, oh, no, Bongo, but you're at the chest, so you're kind of close to done because this is the last chapter anyway. No, because we got to do it again. Because we got to fucking forget me now. 
And if you thought I wasn't gonna take it, you were... I got a piece of land to sell you. Good lord. There's still this room right over here. Which God knows could have another room. And it could have another room. Okay, no it didn't. It's just famine and pestilence. They're not really problematic. It's just waiting for your brimstone to charge. And by the time you finish off the enemies, Taurus has already let go. Okay, you know what? We're gonna lose the pony, so we might as well go for it. Curse of the Maze. Oh, great. Okay, okay. We got Betrayal. Cupid's Arrow. Bomber Boy. The D12. Doesn't really help us at all in the grand scheme of things, but it's our only space for our item and Cupid's Arrow. Oh, that's right. We got Curse of the Maze as well, so we're just going to be reminded that we can't go in there yet. Is there like five ragmen? I didn't think you could get that many bosses in a room at once. Oh, okay, it's Dark Bomb. You know what? Dark Bomb is good. I, I like Dark Bomb. Oh my god. Like, the dream is still possible for us to get Dad's key or get out of jail free card. One of the two will get us to make a save. I know I'm asking for so much, but am I really? There's so much people ask for, like, to win the lottery. You know, like, you're gonna ask the lottery algorithm to work specifically for you. That's probably not gonna happen. Like, you'd be arrested up the ass if they found out you tampered with the lottery system. It's fraud, really. Really, just hoping for at least one item or one consumable. It's not really asking for much. I just gotta be lucky enough to get it. I just wish Curse of the Maze would stop sending me to the same room repeatedly. I figured we we're gonna we needed some help. Oh yeah, little horns in here too. Um, a little too late, but it's the thought that counts, like I said before. That's obviously wasn't going to be get out of jail free because it was a tarot card. Okay, double super wrath could still give me Mr. Mega. Mr. Mega bomber boy bombs could be pretty interesting. We know our secret room is not going to be down here. Because that's the way to the Mega Satan fight. I can definitely get both of these right here. Wow, thanks. The Hyrule Band. We'll pop it right here so we don't have to hold up the multiple cards. You might consider this run boring. You're not wrong. But my god. We get Dad's key on the very last room we explore. You are going to be shitting yourselves. Believe you me, so will I. Fucking Brownie again. I hate this boss so much. I just think he's too hard of a fight for the depths level. Especially if you're playing as the Lost, because he just creates so many things you have to dodge at once. Really? Is this how it's gonna go? How many batteries are around here anyway? Not a lot. Okay, we got Dagaz. We'll probably take Dagaz to get rid of that rid of the Curse of the Maze. Alligaz is pretty good. Hagalaz? Uh, we'll take Anzus with us. I 
Maybe we should, like, prolong our stay as long as possible to keep getting, like, undefined. To send us to the error room. And then we can just keep redoing this shit over and over and over again. Did we do this? I think you have to stay in a room long enough for Charge Baby to give you a battery. Then we can practically do this in, like, every single room. Does it go, like, at a fixed time interval or something? If so, then we can practically use it right now. I just sent it to the regular secret room. That's okay, I guess. Was there really only one entrance to the regular secret room? Okay, so this is basically what we have to do. We have to wait a few seconds for Charge Baby to give us a battery. We clear out the room... And then we can just, like, keep using it until we get undefined. Send us to the error room. And then we'll just keep redoing Why didn't you not give me a battery there? You flashed. You were supposed to give me a battery. Like, we had a deal, man! You were supposed to give me a battery charge. Like, I'm gonna wait till, like, I don't know, 5435. If you don't give me a battery charge, I'm just gonna clear the room. You had your chance, dude. Okay, I say I pretty much have to, like, wait it out. This is Champion Gertie again, isn't it? Yeah. Like, I think the best chance for me to increase my chance for a battery is just not go in there with Taurus. Because then I'll finish off the enemies too fast. Come on, dude. Come on. Battery. Charge, baby. Do it. Just do it. <coughs> Come on. Don't let your dreams be dreams. You're not going to do it. I think you're just pretty much hit your prime. Oh, thanks for the uh, soul heart there, uh, Dark Bomb. Greatly appreciated. Okay, Bob's curse is all right. Did I just turn into Bob? Wait a minute. Oh my god, I can release a bunch of toxic creep. Oh, ground enemies are going to get so shrecked. Okay, I think what the update did, or one of the updates, it now tells you if you got a transformation. I think that's pretty awesome. Like, it gives you that little cue. Didn't give me a battery again. That's so odd. Well, at least we got a third key. So we do get warped to the error room. <laughs> we have to redo the chest for like a third fucking time. We'll exhaust this entire fucking item pool for all I care. Because dad's key or get out of jail free card. One of the two will bring us to the promised land. Well, I guess I can use it right now. Ah, it sent me to the top secret room again? Really? That is so odd. Well, I might as well get one of them killed. That's it. That's it. Oh, wow took damage as soon as it wore off. This Chad's getting destroyed by Brimstone. We almost explored the entire chest. We'll pretty much have to defeat Blue Baby real soon. Funny how, like, the last route of the last time we did the chest, we were getting battery charges like crazy, and now they just pretty much fell by the wayside. That is annoying. Because back then, I didn't even have an item worth, like, using my spacebar on so constantly. Oh, that lockup was big for us. Oh, little Gertie. A Gerd of your own. Oh, that is so cool. Let's look. 
Okay, so if you charge your attack, you're charging little Gertie. And the longer you release it, the more it goes all across the ground. That is so cool. It's basically like an air hockey puck. Only it doesn't bash your fingers like Colin L112 does. That fucking ass. <laughs> and it does a decent amount of damage, too. Soy milk! Ha 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 ha! Yeah, n nice try. I may be absurd, but I, I cross. I draw the line in some places. Soy milk is the line. Okay, if you can draw me a battery here, then I will just... Okay, we, we got a full charge ready. So I'll just use it right now. And it did not send us to the uh, error room. But you know what? That enemy that enemy room could drop a chest. And if it gives us Dad's key, you know... I know it's a straw man argument that, you know, what are the odds I'm going to get Dad's key from that specific room? Don't dismiss it completely! There's a chance. As long as there's a chance, you have to go for it. Because what if... What if that chance would have been like the ticket to the promised land? Then you spend the rest of your life not knowing what would have been. And that hurts. You gotta follow your dreams. And make them come true. As far-fetched as they may be, those dreams are still worth believing in. Never let anyone tell you otherwise. I think we still... Oh, we still have one more room. It's only just this one room over here. I think I tried to get into there because of Curse of the Maze. Just kept screwing it up. Oh, okay. Well, I guess that wasn't really much of a room. It had nothing in there. Okay, I guess we're going to make that big walk to Blue Baby now. And we'll probably get battery charges there again. Oh my god, this is going to be so absurd. That we'll just keep fighting Blue Baby until we keep getting battery charges, and eventually we'll get the error room, and then we'll have to redo the entire chest again. My hard drive is going to be completely full on this one goddamn video. And I think that's what makes it so amazing. Like, what's going to happen first? We get a full battery charge, or we Blue Baby? I think we can try to get some hits in with Taurus. Or, you know, just be an idiot. It's funny how the boss music does not slow down, but this music does. Why is that? Why is this boss music the only one that slows down? Oh my god, we did get a battery charge. Did I just use answers by accident? It just sent us to the secret room again. I know you guys are going to be so pissed off. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! You know me! Go crazy on these runs. Okay, I think the music only slows down after Taurus is gone. Technically, we're redoing this room so Taurus will not be affected. Or will not be activated. Or did that get fixed in Afterbirth? I don't know. If, if that's the case, then they definitely buffed Taurus. Yeah, I'm not getting any speed ups. Wow, little Gertie getting some licks in. Okay, am I gonna get another battery charge? Like, probably just this close to defeating Blue Baby. We'll get another battery charge. Mark my words. Oh my god, it actually happened. Oh, stop sending me here. I want to go to the goddamn error room. You gotta get me to the error room eventually. It's just a matter of time, dude. Like, the fi people in, in the comment section is like, Dude, just beat Blue Baby now. End this run. You're not getting Dad's key. Screw that. Haha. <laughs> If it takes a million years, it'll take a million years. Like, this will last longer than that Bob Ross marathon on Twitch. Okay, I think Betrayal, like, whenever you get hit, just charms all enemies. It's not that great. 
but it, it could have its uses. You guys are celebrating the fact we haven't got a battery charge yet. Oh my god, is it gonna happen? Yep, blue baby lost. No battery charge, so I guess that's it. This marathon run is finally over. Oh my god, that raw file is over 2 gigs. That's crazy. Alright, so I guess I'll stop the video right here, and in the next part, which, you know, if you haven't died of old age yet, we'll do another run. See you, everyone. Thanks for watching.